So starting March 16th, LastPass, which is my favorite password manager, is going to start limiting their free version to one device. You're gonna have to choose between mobile or desktop. It's going to force you to do that. But it begs the question, should you choose the mobile or desktop or should you be looking for an alternative instead? I'm Scott Todd and this channel is dedicated to entrepreneurs and helping you to grow your business. Maybe you've heard that LastPass is going to make a push to increase the number of paid subscribers. And the way that they're going to do that is they're going to make you choose between having access from your desktop or having it from a mobile device. And what happens if I use both? And I do. But now LastPass is making me think even harder. Because all of a sudden, just because they're making me choose between mobile or desktop to choose, or if I do want both, I have to go to a paid plan. They're also making me think about like, should I be using an alternative? And should you be using an alternative? Well, let's explore exactly what LastPass is doing and let's talk about their current state. Currently, they have three plans. They have a free plan, a premium plan, and a family plan. And the premium plan honestly is pretty cheap. It's like $3 a month and it includes a lot of cool features. And also LastPass has a family plan and the family plan basically extends the premium plan obviously over to family members. But what if you really like the free version? Well, guess what? The good news is, is that there's many alternatives to LastPass. Let's just name a few. Let's see, we have NordPass, PassCamp, Dashlane, RoboForm, OnePass, Keeper, Bitwarden. Don't forget your Apple and your Android device obviously also manage passwords too. Google Chrome, there's a lot of free alternatives out there. But you know, the one alternative that is seeing a lot of increase in their adoption there's one that is just like blowing up on the scene right now, and it is Bitwarden. So let's talk about what Bitwarden is. Bitwarden is an open source password management system. So basically what it does is just like LastPass, it allows you to store your password safely. Now the great thing about being open source is that because there's a lot of developers eyes on this, any type of security vulnerability well, it's going to get fat fixed very quickly and it's going to make for the entire ecosystem of your password protection very secure. That is one of the things that people are very attracted to is that it's not some private code. It's out there and it's being protected and monitored by developers. The other thing that, that people like about Bitwarden is the fact that, you know what, their free version isn't changing. You're not gonna have to choose between mobile device or desktop, they're, they're, they're staying with their free plan, which is has a lot of great features. Now, Bitwarden does have a premium plan that's very similar to the uh, LastPass plan. Remember, the LastPass plan is like $36 a year. The Bitwarden premium plan, well, that's $10 per year. So for $10 a year, you get their premium plan. For $36 a year, you get the LastPass premium plan. So you'll see that it's not that expensive to when you, you look at this. One of the other things that's super simple about these password programs and these password systems is that it's very easy to export your data. LastPass, you can go in there and you can export a CSV file right from their website. You can then take that file and import it right into Bitwarden or the other system that you're using. And there are a lot of people that like that fact that you can easily move and Bitwarden makes it easy. So what do you do? What, what do you do? Should you stay with LastPass or should you start using Bitwarden? Well, I think that if you're really looking for a free alternative to LastPass because you want to stay with free and you're looking for something that has strong features, well then I would go with the open source application like Bitwarden. I think that that's a great place. If you don't have a, a password protection system today, well, I would probably start with Bitwarden. I think that's a great place to go. If you're looking for premium plans that's suited for like large teams, you know, you got a large amount of teams that need to be able to password protect things and share passwords, 1Password and Dashlane, well, those are also some great alternatives. As for me, I'm going to stay with LastPass. And my entire thought process on this comes down to this. I have a team that uses LastPass. They work with other uh companies, their VAs. And so the thought of trying to get multiple VAs 
and multiple people to switch to a new system so that I could save $26 a year? Well, that seems crazy to me. But of course, that's me. Now, before you run, be sure to leave in the comments what you're going to do, what service you're gonna use, and also, be sure to check out this video, and I'll see you over there.